Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a throwback hunt, celebrating the old classic Monster Hunter times. Um, these were good times, much simpler times, also rough times. We didn't have any of the good stuff, to be honest. <laughs> so we're not gonna use all of the good stuff pretty much, like Handbreaker, Counter, or Set Slash. So I think my main source of damage for this is gonna be the Round Slash. So um, yeah. To make this a little bit more easier, I went for Evade Wonder level 2 and also Evade Extender level 2. Now, to make this even more easier, I could have just went for Evade Wonder level 5, but I kind of wanted to challenge myself somewhat. So, um, yeah, we're doing the Flagship Hunt Magnamala for this. Let's jump in. I hope you enjoy. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this goes. You got triggered by the book Fango. Unfortunate. What you gonna do? So, of course, no drawn double slash for this one, too. Going full on old school. And yeah, back then, I always. Whenever I could, I went for the skills like Evade Extender and Evade Winner. I think it makes the game like more Dark Souls esque, if that makes sense. Bro. And I'm a big Dark Souls fan, if you didn't know. And I'm looking forward to Elden Ring, which is coming out soon. So, I'm not gonna use the Wirefall skill as well. Back in the day, you actually got punished when you got hit. Let me heal. Oh, maybe I should only heal while standing. Back in the day, you couldn't move while healing. Yeah, if you are a new hunter, they've added so many quality of life changes. Kind of insane. Let's hit the Bofango. Finally get that white gauge. Let me dodge that. Ah, uh, I rolled too early. It's kind of funny, usually he like always misses you with that move. Oh crap, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Alright, so we're not gonna um, move while healing. After have decided. Let's make this more challenging. Is he already leaving? Alright, let's chase him. Ah, uh, Basil is here. That's gonna be a problem. Say hello to him. Can we dodge that? Too early. So yeah, it turns out it's really hard to gain spirit level when you don't have access to your counters. That roll was better. Alright, so I'm just gonna get rid of the Baron Rat. Um, I'm just gonna bring him over here and then abandon him. And I hope that's gonna do it. Nope, never mind. He's chasing me. But I hope Basil should leave now. Maybe even Magnus leaving. Yeah, there we go. Alright, yeah, um, this is rough, not gonna lie. Let's see if we can get to Yellow Gauge. Right here. I kind of... Ah, sh I forgot I can't do this special sheet. It's just muscle memory, I'm sorry. Roll. Nice roll. Let's go. So yeah, I gotta use my spirit attacks some more. They are my best damage opportunity. That was a nice 69, by the way. Dodge that. And maybe this opening is big enough for the full combo. Yep, there we go. Gonna get hit there, that's fine. And we are finally on red gauge. Let's go. Now we can do some damage with these spirit attacks. Nice roll. Fill up the spirit gauge. And we're going in. Dodge that. That one too. Fill up the spirit gauge. Nice roll. And let's deal some damage. Dodge that. Ah, uh, Basil again? 
That's just unlucky. Can you please leave? Bro. Oh my god, thank you so much. He actually listened to me. Um, I think I just want to sharpen you. That's like a nice opening. Bro. So yeah, we gotta get back to Red Gauge. ASAP. This is a nice opening. Let's go. Twice in a row? But why? Bro. Oh, he's not that. Alright, there we go. By the way, I still haven't figured out what the conditions are for him to follow up that attack. It seems kinda random. Alright, we need more spirit gauge. Bro. Bro. Some nice damage. At least I would say so. Roll this, alright. We gotta need to get that topple on him. Uh, I just lost my red gauge. Let's try and get it back right here. Probably not big enough of an opening. Also, I don't have enough spirit gauge. It's kinda not that easy to get enough spirit gauge for the full combo. I tried to knock him out of the health, I think, and now it's gonna punch me. This does this. See, this is why Evade Extender is so good in this game. In the older games, too. Like I said, I love, love Evade Extender in the old games. Maybe this opening is big enough. It should be. Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah, Evade Extender is just August. That's a nice little stagger right there. Hit him with that big attack. So yeah, I'm not too sure how much health he has left. I think it's still quite a, quite a lot. Uh, let me buff again. He is tired. No, uh, way too early. I should be able to get these consistently with evade window level 2, to be honest. It's not that hard, just roll right when he puts his foot down. Um, let's get to red gauge here. Nice hit right there. Dodge that. And we're going in. So yeah, I guess this place is more like hit and run. Which, I like that playstyle to be honest. If you don't know, I used to be a great sword main for pretty much all of my Monster Hunter career. And only when we got a Electron for Icepawn is when I made the switch to Longsword. To be honest, I just couldn't beat that guy using great swords. He kept beating my ass for like a week straight. But to be fair, I wasn't that hardcore back then. I haven't played Monster Hunter for like um, 10 years, actually before we got Iceborne. I mean World. The last Monster Hunter I had played was Monster Hunter Try. And I just couldn't make myself go back to the 3DS titles. And I never owned a 3DS, so I took a long Monster Hunter break. Nice roll right there. Maybe I can get in the full combo. No, I don't even have enough spirit gauge. Uh, let's see what he does. Hold on. Yeah. Get spirit gauge. Alright, he's gonna do his ultimate again. Let me dodge there. 
Nice, that was actually close. He almost got me right there. Alright, we're gonna need one of those openings to get back to Red Gage. Gotcha. There we go. Alright, thank you so much. We have full spirit gauge so we can do the full combo right here. Hit that in his face. Nice. Ah, oh, I couldn't get that. Roll. Alright. Get spirit gauge. Ah, too early. Roll, roll, roll. There we go. So yeah, I don't think he has that much health left at this point. At least I hope so. That was a nice hit. Let's do another combo. But yeah, it turns out this game is hard if you don't use all of the OP stuff. Bro, don't die. Alright, let me heal. Alright, barely dodged that. Can we see a couple? I gotta get back to that cage right here. Ah, not enough spirit gauge. Alright, alright. Ah, oh, uh, I couldn't get away right there. That is rough. Maybe enough time for the full combo. Is that enough spirit gauge? It is. Let me try and go for it. Alright, nice. But yeah, it's so hard to knock him out of the Hellfire thing. When you don't have access to your, like, all of your damaging moves. He's leaving. I see the new symbol. Oh wait, he's not leaving. He's still here. Let's just get behind him. And now we're gonna capture. Alright, there we go, we did it. Um, this was way tougher than I thought, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I used some moves that weren't, like in the older games. I'm pretty sure I did, but... Um, bear with me, it's just muscle memory, and also it's really hard to limit yourself like this. But it's really fun, so maybe try it for yourself. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, thanks so much for watching. As always, happy hunting. Bye!